let me move on to the interesting puzzle number two so 12 people are sitting in two parallel rows in such a manner that each person sitting in one row faces one person sitting in the opposite row so friends totally there are 12 persons sitting in two parallel rows so in row number one that is pqrstv are sitting and all the persons are facing towards south and similarly in row number two that is a to f are sitting and all the persons are facing towards north so friends and most important thing is that each row contains three male members and three female members okay friends let me move on to the point number one so c is sitting at the left end and as the only female who is sitting at one of the extreme end so friends c is the only female who is sitting at one of the extreme end right we know that totally there are four extreme ends so and uh, the person c will be in row number two and they have clearly told that c is sitting on the left end is the only female who is sitting at one of the extreme end so we can surely say that the remaining extreme end male person should be placed okay so next point friends in row number one no male is sitting together so friends, this is row number one right in row number one no male members are sitting together so i think if no male members are sitting together so definitely this must be a female person and uh, this must be a female person right because uh, we we should not place a male member sitting together so this is the only possible but we don't know whether male member can be placed here or male member can be placed here okay friends and next point is in row number two females and males are sitting alternately so we can surely say that this must be male and this must be female and this must be a male and this must be a female so friends according to me i used to draw a circle for a female person and box for a male person right okay friends point number three so a is facing the person who is sitting second to left of his grandmother s yes. Okay, so friends, the point number three is A is facing the person. We know that A is in row number two, right? So A is facing the person who is sitting to the left of his grandmother S. So let me assume that S is a grandmother. So we can surely say that S is a female person, right? Okay, so S left hand side at the second place, the person. Okay, let me assume that friends, listen here friends. Let me do one thing. Let me assume that this is S. So S left hand side at a second place. So someone is sitting here. So this person is faced by A, right? So A is facing this person. And they have given any other clue, friends. No. And they have told that S is a grandmother. So from that we can surely say that S is a female person, right? Uh, we know that S should be in row number one. Either we can place S here or we can place S here. Many possible friends. So let me take it as clue number one, right? Let me move on to the next point. So Q is married to S. If Q is married to S, then we can surely say that Q will be male person because S is a female. Then we can surely say that Q will be a male person. And they have told that and both the persons are sitting together. So S and Q are sitting together, friends. And we know that Q is a male person, right? So I think. Uh, so friends, S left hand side at a second place. The person here. If I place S here, so I think. Uh, there are many possible right so if i place s here this is not the right place for s right so if i place s here and this can be a male member or if i can place s here and this can be a male member mm. okay no problem friends let me move on to the next point so b is father of a and c is mother of e so friends in clue number two that is they have we can take it as a clue that so a is having a father b right so a is having a father b if b is a father we can say that b is a male member and the c is mother of e so e mother is c so we can say that c will be a female person right and we know that the both the person b and c will be in row number two right we already know that c is a female person so either b should be placed here or b should be placed here b should be placed here okay next point friends e is facing the one who is sitting to the immediate left of r okay so friends r left hand side immediately the one who person sitting the person is faced by e right okay i think that e is facing one who sits of immediate left of r so let me take it as a clue number three so r immediate left hand side so this person is faced by the person e right and whether r is a male or female person no okay friends next point so e is wife of v so v is having a wife that is e so we can surely say that if v is calling e as a wife then e should be a female person and v should be a male person right so e is a female person 
okay next point is and t is wife of d so d wife is t so friends there's a difference d wife is t so we can surely say that t is a female person and d is a male person right okay mm -hmm. i think uh, we can't be able to place anywhere else right there is t right okay okay friends next point so d is sitting to the immediate left of his sister e so e left hand side immediately the person d is sitting so e immediately left hand side the person d is sitting okay okay friends next point friends because we don't want to confuse a lot of uh, time right so p is sitting opposite to a so a opposite p is sitting friends listen here friends we know that a is facing the person is sitting right so we can surely say that p should be placed here because a is facing the person p and only thing is that if i found the gender of the person a it is easy for me to fix it right okay next point friends listen here r and f are daughters of d and e respectively so friends d is having a daughter r so d is having a daughter r and the next point is uh, e is having a daughter f so e is having a daughter f okay so r and f are a female members right so r is a female member and also f is a female member mm -hmm. okay next two point friends p is brother-in-law of c so c brother-in-law is p so i think we have confirmed one thing that c brother-in-law is p so we can say that p is a male member right okay the last point is p is brother-in-law of t so friends look at the last point friends a is brother-in-law of t so we can surely say that so if t a is brother-in-law of t so t is brother-in-law is a so a is a male person right so we have confirmed that a is a male person so friends i think if i fix this clue here it is easy to find the arrangement right because uh, we know that a is a male person right and uh, s and q are sitting together and s left hand side at a second place the person p is sitting and whether p is a male person right so, and we also know that p is a male person so friends i think only one possible friends listen here uh, i'm just we know that p is in row number one s is in row number one and q is in row number one and we know that s and q are sitting together so friends i'm just going to do one thing here so i'm just going to fix s here friends listen here friends s here so s left hand side at a second place p is sitting so x left hand side will be this side at a second place the person p is sitting right and uh, we know that p is faced by a so a is the person who is facing p i think we have fixed this complete clue and we already know that s and q are sitting together so there is no possible to fix uh, q here so only one possible that i should fix q here right so s and q are husband and wife they are sitting together so s left hand side at a second place the person p is sitting and who is faced by a right i think the remaining are p q so r is remaining uh, t is remaining and we know that r is a female person right so either r should be placed here and uh, p q r s t is also a female person i think remaining only one letter friends so p q r s t i think v is the only person who is male so we can surely say that v must be placed here and uh, next is any other clue friends i think r left hand side a person e is sitting right so r left hand side r is a female person I think only one possible that this should be definitely R because if I place R then we already know that R left hand side this person is faced by E right. So I think uh, R left hand side will be this person. So Q should be faced by the person E and uh, I think we can eliminate this and we know that E is a female person right. Okay friends next two point is uh, try to fix any other clue friends. I think remaining letters are A then b is remaining we know that b is a male member so two possible that either this should be b or this should be b right so a b c what about c friends okay c is a female person and we already know that so d next is d d is also a male person right so two possible that either this should be d or this should be b right and uh, the remaining only one letter i think so so a b c d e i think f is the only letter remaining that should be a female person right and we already know that some sister left hand side of a person is sitting right i don't know exactly at the point i think uh, d is sitting to the immediate left of his sister e so e left hand side the person d is sitting so we can surely say that this is the place for d and this is the place for b so friends we have uh, finally uh, confirmed this and i think only one letter remaining p q r s t is remaining right so we can fix the t here and also we know that t is a female person so friends 
the uh, arrangement looks so tricky but if you think and solve this question it will be so easy right so finally we have cracked this puzzle an interesting puzzle so friends my advice is try to pass this video and try to solve this puzzle again and again so more than two times so that you can easily crack if the puzzle is so difficult